Hey, iPad Pro 5th generation has been released after tons of speculations, leaks and rumors. And what we've seen so far, it was in many ways stunning. Yet, will we see its unleashed potential at this moment may very well depend on what will be released on the upcoming WWDC on June 7th. Hi guys and welcome to Digital Marketing Channel. My name is Marco and this is your dose of Apple news, leaked information, rumors and opinions. Make sure you subscribe, leave a comment below, hit the like button and don't forget to enable all notifications so you don't miss the next video. Welcome to Clean My Mac X. Friends, no matter how awesome is your Mac, you need to make sure that it always runs smooth and secure. And this is where Clean My Mac X comes in. Clean My Mac X is all-in-one cleaning and optimizing software for your Mac. It is simple and easy to use while combining the most useful features for your Mac. Clean My Mac X scans your system and with space lens, it builds a virtual map of your Mac storage. It helps you detect and delete app leftovers, temporary and old junk files. Clean My Mac X keeps you aware of every app that is installed on your Mac and its permissions. With its popular smart scan, Clean My Mac X examines your system for system log files and even checks for malware. With Clean My Mac X, you have full control over apps and their files and processes. You can install, update or uninstall just as easy. Clean My Mac now natively supports Apple Silicon Macs, so if you own one, you'll enjoy smooth and faster experience. Do your Mac a favor, click on the link in the description and download Clean My Mac X today. The new iPad Pro lineup is out. 12.9 inch model really stands out because of its unique display. But in terms of internals, it's quite similar to its 11 inch counterpart. While there were expectations for some beast of the processor, or Zver in my language, in the form of A14X Bionic and almost equally powerful as M1, we weren't really certain that it will be exactly the same chip. Not only we went from our hopes and dreams that maybe instead of 6 gigs, we moved to 8 gigabytes of RAM territory, we have jumped to 16. What in the world just happened? I think that we're on the verge of something huge. And this is just a tiny step of Apple's way bigger plan for iPad. The iPad was always a device in between, nor iPhone, nor Mac, which is what puzzled tech community for long. Why adding so much power and then limiting it with its software? And right when some were hoping to see fully fledged Mac OS on the iPad, we ended up slapped. And of course, do you remember famous no by Craig Federici? So I'd like to take a moment to briefly address this question. No. That one. Adding split screen feature, giving birth to iPad OS, bringing in keyboards, and finally adding trackpad and mouse support were just stages on the way what's coming. And we all knew there must be some kind of direction. Putting Apple Silicon inside of a MacBook was a logical thing to do, but not only because of Intel's manufacturing struggle, but to attract iOS developers to easily port their apps to MacBook. Not to mention that iPhone user base is much bigger comparable to number of owners of MacBook. But having complete experience and options of the iPhone within a desktop class OS simply adds more. Yet with the release of iPad that's powered by MacBook chip, this circle is now almost complete. An iPad is now a truly hybrid, yet in the same time in its own category. Nor bigger iPhone, nor MacBook, yet both. With developers on board to completely fully exploit potential of M1 with their apps, including professional ones, it will be way easier to adjust the same apps toward the iPad. Well, iPad Pro in this case, for now. It is likely that Apple's 2020 transition to their own in-house silicon wasn't just a revolution evolutionary step for the Mac, but for iPad as well. And we all know that Apple's strength is in the ecosystem. This now brings the question, when we can expect the next step in this process? Okay, let's clear one thing first. Apple is doing things their own way, slowly, and we can cry, beg, and even criticize, but we can't do anything about it. If their management doesn't know what they're doing, Apple wouldn't be one of the most successful companies in the world, period. So when? If we are 
lucky, we should expect to see first glimpses of this in the upcoming WWDC. If you recall previous year, Fapa Taz, John Prazer, has leaked information there is a mobile version of Xcode that's been work in progress. Is it possible, in case if that is true, of course, that we may see something this year? Could be. But there's one more thing. Recent rumors suggest that we should not expect Touch Bar on the upcoming MacBook Pro. Well, this gives hopes to those who insist that Apple should integrate touch screen display into MacBook. I hope and I believe that will not happen. As someone that has used touch screen on a laptop, it's absolutely ridiculous and in many ways useless unless you develop different form factor, like for example what Lenovo done with Yoga. Well, it turns out that iPad is for that. With desktop processor in iPad's core, any idea about the touchscreen Mac may have just been killed. I did not say that, for example, Microsoft Surface Studio is a product without sense. Again, because of its unique form factor. While Apple will not bring a touchscreen to the iMac, that doesn't mean that they will not reveal some bigger device that is based on the existing iPad Pro. You get it? Do you remember rumors about alleged iPad Pro Max? Is this a step closer to 15-inch iPad Pro and maybe something more, something bigger in the future? What do you think? Please answer in the comment below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up and turn on notifications. Make sure you check the links in the description for Clean My Mac X, awesome Blackbeard web hosting and occasionally some Apple products and accessories. Thank you so much for watching Digital Marketing Channel. My name is Marco. Talk to you soon. Have an excellent day. Bye. If you ever wanted a good website, everything with elite class hosting, you can look no further than my buddies from Ireland. Blackbeard Hosting. Simple, easy to use website installer, 24 7 customer support, and more. Hosted on fast, reliable, and secure servers. Hey, even VPN is included. Check it out. One month free trial, no credit card needed. The link is in the description and in the comment. With digital markings code, you get 5% off. Blackbeard Hosting. Hosting as it should be.